Okay, so today technically our lesson is on equilateral and isosceles triangles, but there's really nothing special about equilateral other than what are the degrees for the angles? 60. They're all 60. Yep, and what about the sides? They're all equal. So they're kind of boring, so we're not going to spend too much time talking about those. But we are going to take a closer look at isosceles triangles. Ooh. Okay, you have some things you got to fill in. It's folded up here and it's laying on yours. So it says parts of an isosceles triangle. The two congruent sides are called legs. So the ones with the little tick marks, those are your legs. The angle where the legs intersect is called the vertex angle. So if I look at my picture, what angle would that be? One. Yeah, angle one. That would be your vertex angle. The side opposite the vertex angle is called the base. So this guy down here is your base. Even if it's at an angle, like on Side. Yeah. Yep. Whatever one's across from your vertex angle is the base. And then the angles along the base are called base angles, so that'd be like angle two and angle three. They're on the base, that makes sense, right? And then we have some theorems that go along with this. So it says if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So like angle A and angle C. Yep, they're equal because they're across from two equal sides. So we would write, let's say, if AB is congruent to BC, then what angles would be equal? Two angle two and three. And then the converse of that, so if you split the order, two angles of a triangle are congruent, and the sides opposite those angles are congruent. So we're just going to switch this. Five congruent angles, so angle two is congruent to angle three. Then AB is congruent to BC. That kind of makes sense. You just think about it. Okay. Let's try some examples with that. If AC is congruent to BC, then what two angles are congruent? One and two. two and three. Here's AC, and it's congruent to BC. So am I looking at the little triangle inside or the big one? The big one. The big one. So what angle is across from BC here? A. Angle A, right? And then what angle is across from AC? Angle B. You guys see that? What about if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2? Then what sides? Or B. R, C, and C, T. Perfect. Let's try another one. You guys figure out if angles 3 and 4 are congruent, then what two sides are equal? If angle 3 is congruent to angle 4, so what two sides? 
Oh, yes, Check with your partner, see if they're trying to get again. Okay, I checked in with like five people. Does everyone else agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, we have a proof. Dang it. That's okay. We're fine. Yes, yeah, not depressed at all. Guys, you are so good at proofs now. No, I mean, we like where you're wrong. We're good. You are. Compared to October, you guys are killing the proof games. Okay, mark your picture. Angle one's congruent to angle four. And eventually I want to show that DE is the same length as FE. You don't think we can do it? No. Yes, because we said that the two angles, one and two, are equal. So Glenn says, I want to eventually show that angle one equals angle two. Would that suffice to show that those sides are the same? Yeah. Okay. Well, do I have enough information to say that? No. Yes. Well, that yeah, that's what he called. Uh, yeah, vertical. Not congruent. These guys are vertical, right? Which makes them congruent. So then one is equal to two by what property? Transitive. Okay, we just wrote our proof. Let's write it together. Let's just start. Yeah, we'll we'll spell it out. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's the next logical step? Vertical angles. And what? And then you can say that one is equal to two. Beautiful. And then can we say triangle D E F is equal to equal or is isosceles? You could, but if we go back to that first page, the two sides of a triangle, excuse me, two angles of a triangle are congruent, then that both sides are congruent. Oh, so You're just going to sum it up. Done. Just so sum it up. Yeah, you'd be done. Yay. Isosceles triangle property. We'll say. I S T P. I Um, Don't abbreviate it too much so I don't know what you're talking about. I saw so I'm going to say <laughs> sides. Congruent. I like that one. DV. Sides congruent because. Sides. Are you trying BC? No. 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 <laughs> because angles are congruent. So we're going to do cow instead of. You can write that whole sentence from the first what? page or just abbreviate it. Sides congruent because if angles I are congruent. Yeah, this is a property. Yeah, that's a theorem we wrote down. What do you guys want to name it? Hey, that's what it makes. Oh, S C B A. Oh, no. I'd rather just write out sides. Just give me a blurb of why it's true. We can all have our own reason. Wait, what's the reason again? What's our thing written now? Sides because angles are congruent. The symbols help. Yeah. Can we? No, we can't. We do. It's so that easy. It's five letters. It's like no. no it's like okay, yes. if you do it, I'll okay. It. Okay. So yeah. thank you. I already have C C P C T C. Done. And then S C P A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, the best. 
Should we make a committee to decide what we should call it? We should make a committee to change all of the math names. You know, the voice of the, voice of the children needs something more simple. No, we're getting dumb. What is Something like that. Isn't it valence electron? Yeah. And then something reports. Are we ready, kids? Let's try the next one. Okay. It says isosceles triangle ADE. So the big guy's isosceles. So what do I automatically know from that? Two sides are congruent. And there's one more thing I know. The angles. Which ones? Woo! I'd mark that down. <laughs> and then we are also told. E is the vertex. Yep, so that's how I knew that these are my base angles. I see <laughs> sass. Okay, <laughs> hey, you're. That's perfect. I see sass. Um, AB is congruent to CD. I'm spherical radius. So do you guys see what he's talking about? Side, angle, side? Yeah. So these triangles that are on the outside are congruent, but I want to show BE is congruent to CE. Well, if you already know, that's too much. Isn't that kind of what we did yesterday? Are these in matching spots of those triangles oh. on the side? Oh. He doesn't know. Are we saying yeah. like reflexive yeah. property? Or not? BE is equal to BE and CE is equal to CE and it can somehow make it oh, easier. Most yeah, we're going to use CPCTC, right? So uh, first I have to show I have congruent triangles. So let's write it out. Let's do that first. Oh, we're all <laughs> lost. We'll just do it together. Oh, thank you. Isosceles triangle A D E. Miss Bundy, who is the person that said they're in with the alphabet? I don't know. Wasn't this See, we should be thankful because could you imagine if these are all numbers, how confused you would probably get? No. With your own math and then I'm numbers? Not, I don't know. I'm really it's not so bad. Like I sound like I'm speaking gibberish sometimes. Right? My parents ask what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm trying to find what A E equals to B E and try and get that to equal C D but D. Yeah, I know, right? I think it's you sound right? intelligent. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Carter. You just don't mutter to yourself and your parents don't think you're weird. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I sit there and tweak all the time, but... <laughs> Do you guys get your givens now? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So I said AB equals CD. Let's do the angle. Angle A equals what? Angle D. Okay. I thought we have to use all three letters. How many angles are coming from A and B? Just one, so we can just use one. This defines all physics. We'll say base angles congruent, because they are. Then what's the last thing I have to say for those triangles to be congruent? Uh, Not yet. CTPC. So right now I have this side and this angle. So what C other piece am I missing? A B equals C D. Oh, That's right there. Yep. Okay, say that. Oh. So we'll say definition of isosceles triangle. Definition of Josh. So now do I have enough info to say those triangles are equal? Probably not. Yes. Yes, by... Oh, that long side. Side, angle, side. Side, angle, yeah. side. So I'll say. So. To triangle. A, B, E is congruent to triangle D, C, D. Abe. You're going to which one? D, C, E. So now why can I say B, E equals C, D? 
equals C E. C P C T C C. Yeah. P C C T C C C C T C P. You forgot C. Oh, I put C. That was a doozy. That was a fun one, though. Put it together. What's your definition of fun? Why? Because I got fun. It's together doing math. I don't know. I said I was going to do more. I 